Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Yen's Battle, and today I'm going to show you how to create some Rust World bases. Here are the paints I'll be using. First thing I wanted to do was create some height on the bases, and so I applied a thin layer of Gorilla Glue to each base. Now Gorilla Glue foams up while it dries, and it's a nice way to get some easy texture. Once that was dry, I made myself a batch of texture paste, mixing together some drywall spackle, a few drops of Elmer's glue, some fine grain sand, and some black ink. I applied this mixture to each base, using a damp brush to help spread it around evenly. Once that was dry, I wanted to spread around some mechanical debris, and for this, I'm using some failed 3D prints and some support material from 3D printing. You could also use some sprue or some bits that you don't care about. I also cut myself some small lengths of plastic card tubing, which I'm going to be using to make it look like there's some pipe sticking out of the ground. I applied all these pieces of debris to the base using some super glue. Then I primed all the models black. I'm using an airbrush, but you could also do this with a rattle can. Next, I base coated all the models with some Vallejo chocolate brown. I'm doing this with an airbrush, but you could also do this with a few thin coats applied with a regular brush. Next, I dry brushed the bases with some Games Workshop lead belcher. I'm doing a heavy dry brushing, and I'm also going over all the areas where there's debris. Then I did a light dry brushing of some Vallejo earth over all of the areas where there's no metal scrap. Then I applied some secret weapon pigments, rust orange. I'm, I'm applying this onto the base with a brush, trying to hit the areas surrounding all of the debris. Next, I did a lighter application of some Secret Weapon Rust Red. I applied the pigments on pretty thickly, but then I knocked off anything that would come off with the brush. Now the bases are finished, and the last thing to do is to paint the edge of the base. I'm painting mine black. And there are three finished Rust World bases. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you have an idea or technique you'd like to see us do, please leave it in the comments below. If you followed along with this video, you can post your work to Instagram and tag Eons of Battle so that we can share it. Thanks for watching.